So just getting home from work. The guys are still out, but now we see the silver is gone and the plastic now is being draped over. And this video is more so like a family memories type video so the kids can see the actual process as well. Uh, so I think the first video was like the steaks. The next video was just the bones of it all. And this video uh, is more so just the final covering. It's not much to it, but it's a lot of, uh, I guess, iron or whatever you call it. A lot of angles that they have to make, which is why uh, I guess the cost is what it is. And it's very huge. It's uh, 28 by 100 square feet. So that's 28 feet uh, wide across and 100 feet. Hope I don't get a copyright strike for that music being on. <laughs> so I'm going to try to walk away. Hopefully it's not coming through too good. Uh, so they're out working. We're going to take you inside once they finish up. I really don't want to get them on video anything like that so that's why I'm on this side so this is a just a real quick update of what we had it's kind of hard to even get it all in one shot that's how long it is but you can see that we have actually still a good bit of land still left on this side uh, these mounds like I said I'm gonna use these for a watermelon and our squash I like the summer squash uh, really more than all the other squash uh, so we got some more dirt here we're gonna pile up also got more dirt on the other side that we're gonna pile up so uh, maybe Thursday we're gonna come with a garden chat and we'll just do a little walk around and, and kind of show you guys more of the process I could take y'all inside right quick let's do that I actually cut down uh, a tree that was hanging you look in there there's a tree that's probably been down for 20 years and another one that's fell and that's the reason why we cut the tree down because we didn't want this to happen to the greenhouse actually so let's go on inside take a little quick look gonna actually put some fans up here eventually not fans uh vents so in the heat of the summer I could actually vent it as well if it's so hot uh, up top but with the roll up sides I don't think we're gonna have that problem but I'm in here right now and it's actually really really warm <laughs> humid so to speak uh, but now at least the rain is not going to fall on this grass, which is going to allow it to actually dry out a little bit better. And that way I'll be able to come in and get the rest of this grass out. And then I'll come in, start coming in with the manure. So this is it. Right? Uh, I was uh, messaging back and forth with uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms. And uh, I already had the idea that I was going to use and that's why I got them to put these. They're called trusses, where you see the M's at. I, I think I got them like every three. Every three, I think, I got a truss. Uh, and that's only because I want to grow things vertically as well. Even though uh, with this program, you have to plant stuff in the ground. They didn't say that you couldn't suspend wire or string and stuff like that to help so so in order to help my tomato plants this is where where you see my truss is at that's where my like snow peas or uh, long asian beans uh, tomatoes things that kind of need a little trellis help this is where i'm going to hang my trellis material from and i'm going to let them grow up on those things but he told me about some tomato hooks he said so i'm going to have to look into that to see what those actually are and I probably, I mean, he, he has a nice greenhouse. So I'm looking to his channel for, for all of my <laughs> greenhouse help. 
because uh, I know if he's been doing it for a little bit, he knows a little bit way more than what I know. So the guys are actually, right now, you can see him, uh, he's cutting and fitting the plastic. Now I'm gonna take that plastic, that leftover plastic, and I'm gonna use that as well, right? I'm gonna use that plastic. Beverly came up with this idea because I've been trying to figure out, y'all know if y'all follow the channel, we lost about 12 citrus trees last year with the cold and the snow. So this year we're gonna use that plastic from this greenhouse that's left over, and we're gonna use that to make little small semi greenhouses around our citrus trees for the winter. So that's gonna be our covering for our citrus trees. So we're not letting anything go to waste. There's always a use for just about everything. So as he cuts that off, I'm already thinking uh, which citrus trees I'm gonna wrap that around some stakes and we're gonna staple it. And that's gonna stay in place the whole winter. And just the top is gonna be open and we're gonna build something for the top with some little maybe uh, one by ones or something. Just so something we can put over the top and take off, put it over the top, take it off as the because in the day we don't need it but at night that's when we're really going to need it uh i'm not babbling too much but i'm, I'm on task miss uh lay farm i'm on task with the uh babbling that i'm doing today still talking about the greenhouse and growing stuff right uh right here is going to be a roll-up door made out of the same material they're actually getting a good break today because it's storming in the city uh, so they're going to put one roll-up door here, which is going to be a nice size. And then on the other side is actually the little door that I can actually go in and out of. So that's it for this update. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh-oh, look, Belsden came outside. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll come back with another video. They'll be gone. Hopefully they can finish up today if the rain holds off for them. They're working, they're working fast, <laughs> as fast as they can. Look, Bev's over there. So, thank y'all for watching Louisiana Gardening Family. Uh, stay tuned, man. Y'all better come and join us in this little trip that we're going on. We're going to grow some stuff up in here. Uh, Sapper said about 90% uh, of the produce for our family, uh, we should be able to grow in here. And I have a big family. My mom had nine kids. Uh, only one of my sisters have passed. Um, and I have six so far. Uh, so I have brothers and sisters. So everybody's going to be able to have a little spot in this thing. Tell me what they want, what they like to grow. And, and that's what we're going to grow in this thing. And hopefully, man. Yep. Hopefully, I can see the future. Thank y'all for watching. And we out.